स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द इंग्लिश क्लास आई एम डी ज्योति सी आर टी इंग्लिश के जी बी व्याकन पेट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच हेल्प्स अस टू स्पीक एंड राइट इफ वी लर्न इट करेक्टली देन वी विल बी एबल टू यूज सम वर्ड्स वर्ड्स इजीली इन स्पीकिंग एंड राइटिंग आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड बाय माय वर्ड्स what today's topic the topic is indirect speech or reported speech mostly you are finding indirect speech or direct speech a little bit of challenge still it is unclear to let us get the clarity today today i am going to explain the changes you must make to statements when you report them this includes changes to pronouns tenses and time markers when we want to repeat what someone else has said we usually use a special formulation called indirect or reported speech for example John said I often come here this is direct speech we put John's exact words in speech marks now in answer to the question what did John said we must say to indirect speech John said he often came here this is indirect speech let's compare the direct and indirect statements direct statement john said i often come here indirect speech john said that he often came here so what has changed first of all the first of all the pronoun has changed to indicate the person who spoke i has changed to he secondly the verb of the original sentence has changed its tense come changed to came this is because the reported reporting verb said is in the past and thus you can say the two parts reporting verb and reported sentence can be connected with that or without that for example note that if the reporting verb is in the present there is no tense change example john I often come here this is direct speech the question is what is john saying the answer is he is saying he often comes here there are many reporting verbs for statements however the most common reporting verbs for statements are say tell and explain be careful that with say and explain you have a choice to specify the person or not but if you specify the person make sure use the preposition to for example he said to her the explain to us with the tell you should specify the person he told her they told us the tense of the original sentence changes as follows let us have a look differences change in reported or indirect speech let's start with verb to be 
and modal verbs am and is change to was or changes to were were was were change to had been can changes to could must stays must there is no change may changes to might might stays as might there is no change could can stay the same it can or it can change to had been able to shall becomes should should stays as same and uh, ought to stays same as the law all right let's look at simple tenses do and does become did past simple present simple become past simple did changes to do does changes to did did changes to has done will do changes to would do let us look at present tense have or has done becomes had done past perfect present perfect becomes past perfect has done become has done it states as same we have done change to would have done let us look at continuous tense the tense of original sentences change as follows am is are doing changes to was doing were doing how has been doing changes to had been doing was and were doing change to had been doing had been doing change to had been doing no change at all will be doing change to would be doing will have been doing change to would have been doing there are two other sentences to look at one is use to and it doesn't change it state use to and finally the bigger into sentence tense am is are going to do change to was going to do were going to do the tell for time changes tense changes now let us look at the changes we make to time makers time markers sometimes need to change to keep the sentence sense of the sentence for example if the original sentence is i'll call you tomorrow in indirect speech you need to you need to change that the next day or the following the day she said that she would call me the next day or she said she would call me the following the day and the other word to be be careful with the uh, is yesterday for example in indirect speech yesterday changes to the day before moving on for example john told her i handed in the report yesterday john told her he had handed in the report the day before moving on the next day word is next week or other expressions with the next next month next year next week changes to the following week for example we told him we are coming back next week 
changes into we told him we were coming back the following week and then another time markers the changes is last year or any other time marker that with that last last week last night etc for example in indirect speech she said we didn't visit lisbon last year she said they hadn't visit lisbon the day the year before they said next come to now and finally the word now in indirect speech you can change now to leave then or immediately for example they said we must leave now in indirect speech they said they had to leave then or they said they had to immediately they had to leave immediately they said we must leave now in indirect speech you can change now to leave then or immediately example they said we must leave now change to they said they had to leave immediately right uh, there are first few other words that you have to be careful with this and these change to that and those she said this is the last bus change into indirect speech she she said that was the last bus they told us we have chosen these books they told us they would choose in those books moving on other word that change would like changes to one one they asked us where will you be here it will change us into they asked us where we would be now be careful with as no questions when you have a as no close question you need to connect uh, the two parts reporting verb and reported question with the word if for example they asked us are you french change it into they asked us if we were french next look at some polite questions we sometimes ask an indirect question to be more polite or formal we formulate these questions with the expressions such as could you tell me would you mind telling me may i ask i was wondering polite questions here an example has given direct question where did you go in indirect form more polite could you tell me where you went next one direct question how old are you in that question it is in more polite form may i ask how old you are next one direct question how much did you pay in that question in more polite way it was wondering so i was wondering how much you had paid note that that with i was wondering you must change the tense of the original sentence because the expression is in the past i was wondering next uh, come to the specific cases when we report a sentence that has a specific function 
inviting, apologizing, making a request, etc. It is better to use a specific verb. For example, he said to me, slow down, please. It's a request. The most appropriate word you to use to report the sentence is, he asked me to slow down. Next one. He said to him, stop shouting. It's an order. Here, we could add a reporter. It. Here, the most appropriate word is used to report the sentences. He told him to stop shouting. Next example. She said, why don't you write a letter? It's a suggestion or a recommendation. Here, here the most appropriate word is used for recommendation. She suggested or recommended writing a letter. Another example is, I said to her, would you like to dance? It's an invitation. Here, you could just report it a uh, Directly by saying, I invited her to dance. Next one. She said to them, Shall I drive you home? It's an offer. Then here we can use the appropriate verb is, She offered to drive them home. Next one. We said to him, Sorry for the inconvenience. It's an apology. Here, we uh, reported this directly by saying, We apologized to him for the inconvenience. We said to him that we were sorry for the inconvenience. Next. Finally, here is an exercise to do was put the following questions or sentences with a specific function into indirect speech. Example, he asked, has anyone seen him? He asked if anyone had seen him. Next one, I asked James, how long do you have to wait? I asked James how long he had to wait. Next one. She asked her husband, Are you working tomorrow? She asked her husband if he was working the next day. He asked his boss, Will I be getting a rise next year? He asked his boss if he would be getting a rise the following year. He asked, Why is everyone laughing? He asked, Why everyone was laughing? Next one, Jill asked Peter, What are you doing this afternoon? Jill asked Peter what he was doing that afternoon. Next example. The children asked, can we go home now? The children asked if they could go home then. Next. He said to me, why don't we take a break? It's a suggestion. Here, he suggested taking a break. She said to them, would you like to join me for a walk? It's an invitation. She invited them to join her for a walk. She said to me, shall I drive you home? It's an offer. She offered to drive me home. Next one. Jane said to Paul, could you turn the TV down please? It's a request. Jane asked Paul, 
to turn the TV down. Once again reminding you, these are the major changes in transformation of speech. Once look at these slides. Now children, it's time to practice. Let us practice the reported speech in conversation. Thank you for being patient listeners.